That is a groover. Today I'm going to show you how to make techno in the style of Oxia, I think I'm pronouncing that right, and Domino. I'm going to be using Ableton Live 10, but you can follow along in any door as these techniques apply. And this is following on in the series I do every single week where I build out the track from scratch in a style of a particular producer that you guys ask for. So let me know in the comments, who do you want to see me cover? As usual, you can download this project file completely free, all the samples and presets. And without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. One take video, no cuts, no edits, let's do it. Right, first thing we need to do is set the tempo. So we're gonna to set to 126 and we're gonna name this bad boy Oxia. Hmm, Domino, let's call it Oxymoron. Oxymoron, nice. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get the beat going. I'm gonna use a audio sample kick, but you can use MIDI if you prefer. And let's just go to my favorite kicks. This one will do nice and deep. And we're going to process it slightly to take out some of those mid frequencies to get that techno uh, nice deep sound for this track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the volume down just so we don't have any clipping on the master channel. I'm going to tighten it up slightly. I can hear my fans going crazy already. Fan as in computer fan, not you guys. Be nice if I had fans. Um, and then I'm gonna take out some of the boxy frequencies and some of the high end as well. So it's just a bit deeper. Add a little bit of compression to tighten it up. There we go. Now every beat on the 4-4. Now the biggest thing about this track is the fact that the bass line and the synth is kind of on triplets instead of your usual um, pattern. So let's create the bass because it's such an important part of this track. I'm going to be using Ableton Live 10 stop plugins, but I'm also going to be using Serum today because I know a lot of you guys have it and it's a bit more easy to see what's going on. So first thing we're going to do is work out the bass line. Now, if we go in to the piano roll editor and press command and three, it's going to change it to triplets mode. I don't know what key the actual tracks in. I should probably actually check that. Okay. First note is this. So you can hear it's on the triplets instead of. Now let's get the bass sounding right. We nice, we want it nice and deep. So we're going to choose a um, we're going to choose a square wave like this, and we're going to add some unison. Take the detune down a little bit, and then we're going to get the. ADSR controls correct for the amplitude. Maybe drop it an octave. Add a second one. Actually, first, we're going to add a filter envelope. And we're going to do that by dragging the envelope onto the filter section, dialing this knob down a bit so it's just affecting it slightly less. And that's how we get that nice deep sound. So let's add a second oscillator, perhaps another um, square wave, but an octave above. It's a bit hard to tell without listening to the actual track side by side, but I want to give you some ideas about what you could do for your own techno tracks. Cool, so let's get those notes changing. I think that's probably correct. Dun, dun. 
That's right. Cool. Okay. Now let's work on the beat. And for this, we're going to keep it nice and simple, nice and um, sharp for this tech kind of minimal tech house or minimal techno sound. So let's get a clap first. I'm just going to go to my clap samples, get something really short and sharp. Quite like that. Let's just make sure that we're cutting out any of the sustain by just tweaking these ADSR controls here. So I've made it really short and sharp. Let's just copy that to every other beat. And if we open up this R and S and routing button here on drum rack, and if you watched last or the other day's video, you'll know how to do this. Uh, you can see here that I've clicked right, right click, create return chain, and I've routed these to my auxiliary channels. So now we can add a little bit of reverb to the kick, sorry, to the clap. To add some width. But I want to go into that room reverb on the auxiliary channel and just tone it down a bit, make the decay time even shorter and sharper. Cool, and we want a secondary clap that's got a bit of tone to it as well. And don't worry, we're going to process all this and make it sound way fatter. Um, but let's look for some kind of snare. Drum hits, da 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 da. Come to me, my snare. Don't know. Let's see. Have we got any samples in here already? Oh, I like that clap more actually. Oh yeah, I practiced beforehand. Um, cool, so let's get the snare in there. But again, we don't want all of this uh, tail, so we're going to take release right down, sustain right down, and just use this decay, and double this up on our main clap. So this is without the new snare, and it adds more weight. But we can try this other clap that I found here, see if that sounds better. Yeah, I prefer the frequencies that's hitting. It's all about getting samples that work together frequency rise. Okay, so now let's add in some shuffle. We're going to use this open hat, or rather closed hat from the EDM Tips Creative Toolkit, which you can get below this video. And I'm just going to add some shuffle, and then I'm going to add some groove to that to make it more interesting. And I don't know if this, this is exactly the same as the Oxia tune, but again, this is kind of in the style of it's not supposed to be identical. Okay, cool. Now let's add some shuffle to take that slightly off the beat. So what I'm going to do is open the groove library and I'm going to go down and choose MPC, swing 64, 16. There we go. I always pick this one. Drag it in, drag a lagger. And then I'm going to make sure the velocity is not being altered because we just want the timing. So now let's listen what happens when we bring it on to the drums. This is off. This is on. Just gives it some more groove. Now I want that bass to be a bit kind of fatter and longer. So what I'm going to do is extend the release um, and just let it open up a bit. I'll choose it mono to make sure none of the bass notes are overlapping each other because we don't want that. You don't want that.
So it just... Maybe that's better. It's a bit hard to tell without hearing the original. That's pretty dope though. Cool, okay, so now let's build out the synth, which kind of goes on the top of that. And it's all about automation, all about keeping the elements down to a minimum and then automating it throughout the track to make it interesting and creating movement. So for the synth, I'm just trying to remember the words. Words, come on, man, it's an instrumental. Um, no, remember the notes. So let's get the serum on there again. That is good singing, fact. Okay, and this is a kind of shuffle as well. So what we're going to do is drag the groove template onto that as well. So it's got that same da -da 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 instead of da -da 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 -da. But we're going to have to do something with the delay, uh, the decay there, because it's just all one sustained note at the moment. We don't want that. So we'll take sustain right down and tweak the decay to give it a more percussive feel. I'm going to have to do a quick check to see that. OK, Magic Genie, infer the song into my brain so I know what the hell I'm doing. Alex, um, OK, I magically know what the notes are. Pretty sure that that's it. It's close enough, that'll do. So now let's get these sounds actually sounding not rubbish. Okay, so the way we're going to do this first is the bass. That sounds pretty good. That sounds even better. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the effects mode and we're going to add another uh, filter and we're going to add a high pass filter just to add a little bit more movement. So if we choose high pass filter there and we could use the same envelope. I think. So we're just going to drag that onto the cutoff, but we'll have to tone it down a bit because this is going to really screw up our bass line. Add some resonance. So this is off and this is on. Just adds a little bit more movement and we're actually going to automate this later on which will make it more interesting. Now for the synth we need to tone it down a bit, make it a bit more harmonically rich but also uh, a bit less abrupt and a bit less staccato. So I'm going to add, first I'm going to add some attack on the ADSR amplitude controls which just softens it slightly. And again we could choose a um, we could use a square wave again, wavetable position. And then we're going to, oh, we'll tweak that actually. We'll use this warp thing and we're going to warp it slightly. Uh, to get some of those higher harmonics. 
and we need to take out some of those low end frequencies because it's just Let's add some filter to it too. Just so it's opening up a bit and again, a bit less abrupt. Again, I don't know if that's completely right to the track, but it should hit the right space. Add some room reverb. Okay, next we are going to add to the drums a bit. So what we're going to do is add a shaker just to build them up a little bit. So if we go to the drums. And then just put a shaker on every other beat. But we want this to be a bit tighter. So again, we're going to go into the uh, controls in the sampler and just bring the and just tweak the sample to make it a bit shorter and a bit sharper. I might actually put it up a few notes as well. I'm going to turn off the synth because it's distracting me at the moment. Transpose. Sometimes it's easier to just have the drums playing to kind of work out the levels. Cool. Now we've got a bit more of a shuffle that we're going to bring in at some point as well. Again, we are going to just do this on every single beat. Every single 16th rather. But we're going to do something really cool to add some movement to that to make it a bit less kind of formulaic. Because obviously that's just kind of... Yeah, the same volume the whole time. So instead of automating or rather changing the velocity like this, which you can do, I'm actually going to use some sidechain compression to duck that and add some more movement. And I'm going to run it off the kick, baby. Yeah, that's how I roll. So let's just make sure we got it running the whole way. Like so. And then let's get a sidechain compressor. So I'll just get a normal compressor. Stick it up, not after the whole drum rack, just after that one sample. So we're just on that one chain. Open up this little button here, select side chain, then choose my side chain trigger input, which is up here. And I've got it set so it is not being heard. It's cho I've chosen sends only instead of master, which means you'll never hear this click that's there. And I choose the click instead of triggering it from the kick because then I get more control by just being able to change the attack and the release on the compressor rather than having to wait for the whole kick sample to play. So let's just get that. So now listen to this shuffle. It's being ducked by the kick. This is off. And this is on. Turn, tone it down a bit. Just a bit of movement. Cool. And now the synth. This is how we're going to make the synth sound really cool. It sounds a bit... I don't like that. I'm going to change the filter here. That's a bit better. I might change the wavetable here.
Yeah, I like that. Now, this is how we're going to make it cool. We are going to add a delay on there and it's going to be used to create some interesting effects. So we'll change it to ping pong mode, choose a really short uh, time for it to kind of delay over, kind of like the harsh effect. And we're going to be using that and automating it very soon. So now we've got our track, the basic elements. And we're going to add one of these sidechain compressors to the synth as well, just to help that duck too. Cool. OK, what else have we got to add? Let me look at my magic list. Oh, pretty much done it. Cool. So. Now it's time to arrange this a bit and get it sounding interesting through the automation and whatnot. And I know I need to mix this a bit, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, I'll kind of take all the levels down and do it from scratch. Let's just color the kick green, the most natural of all the colors for the kick, as it is the most natural of all the instruments. That's scientifically proven. <laughs> Okay, let's get some of this arrangement on the go. So I'm just gonna copy it, duplicate it a few times to give us a chance to work with something. So we'd start with the, the beats and not all of the beats. You know, we'd probably start that this. And then before, uh, yeah, we can do look like little interesting bits at the end of every eight bars or so with the snare. Something like this. And then we could fade in that synth using just an automation on a utility like so just so to introduce it to the track gently 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 and then we can have a break I want that little snare bit at the end there as an intro. Right, now this is where it gets interesting. So we are going to be automating these and then pulling everything back down on the drop to um, have the contrast. So with the bass, let's start automating things. So we could have this filter kind of open up as, as we go. So we're just going to open this button here, press configure. And again, you can do this in any door. You can automate these parameters. And what we're also going to do is automate the uh, cutoff here of the high pass filter, which we created. But we're also going to, I think, automate this decay and release as well, just so we can open that sound up. So now we can turn this off and let's get automating, baby. So. Show automation in new lane, show automation new. There's probably a quicker way to do this, which you guys could tell me. If you could tell me, let me know in the comments below if there's a quick way to get all the automation showing. And of course, let me know if you're enjoying it. Give me a hell yeah or an amen brother if you're feeling holy today. And that let me, lets me know if you're enjoying it. OK, so I'm going to mark the pointers, the nodes, to go back to where they should be at the end of the break on the drop just so um, we're going to be just so we're um, going to start back where we want to on the drop. And we can open up. Oh. 
So that's how that's how we do. Uh, so that opens up. We could even add some reverb. Absolute groover. Yeah, this is a dope track. I mean, I need to compare it to the original. Um, I'm sure I could make it sound better, but hopefully you're learning some techniques uh, in this today. So in terms of this other synth, this, we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to open it up, see what parameters we want to control. I'm going to set that to a lot anyway. Um, oh, hello, fan. Nice to hear you again. How very good of you to show up, sir. Now we are going to automate this decay here to do a similar thing that we were doing with the bass line, just to increase that tension. So let's automate this like so. And, you know, we could also take the pumping compressor off there by automating this dry and wet control down. So it becomes more sustained. Whoa, what happened there? Something happened there. Oh yeah, that's right. I put the release right up, didn't I? Silly Billy, we need to can, we need to really automate that too, otherwise it's going to get out of our control. Okay, sidechain stop there. We need to remember to copy the sidechain trigger track across. Now, for one more thing that I want to show you, some kind of cool techno-y effect that we're going to do is... Oh yeah, no, first, let's, let's play with this delay for sure. So again, you can automate this, the feedback, the dry wet. Again, that's just a way to add this tension, add this release, add this movement to techno. Um, I can't be bothered to draw it in. You heard it, you knows it, do it, love it, live life, love each other. Here endeth today's lesson, almost, apart from the effects. So let's just get an effect in there. Uh, Vinyl crackle. Okay, this is just to add a little bit of interest and we're gonna put a vinyl crackle there. But instead of using it in the usual way, I might suggest, we're gonna use it as a kind of percussive thing. Okay, I'm gonna go into some of the ones I found earlier to see if it is there. Yeah, the snap crackle pop, you can have a bit of that. Go on then. Um, I'm just going to drag it so the transient is on the beat. Then I'm going to get rid of everything else. And then what we're going to do is make an interesting effect by just adding some delay on this. Again, make sure that transient's on the beat. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to choose a delay echo. Here we go. And we are just going to have the feedback go big. Now, echo in Ableton Live is kind of similar to Sound Toys Echo Boy. It's like an analog tape delay um, echoey type plugin, which is really good. That's technical. All of those terms are technical fact. 
um, and we're just going to have it so it ping pongs out side to side. So I press the ping pong button and then lasts a long time with the feedback. Just to create interest. And you might even be a cheeky little chat and put a little bit of a shorter delay beforehand just to really kind of screw things up. Like so. And again, it's just adding it very slight element and adding interest for the ears to kind of be intrigued by and it's all syncopated so it rolls on you've got the triplet bass let's add some reverb on that bass yes that is a groover. And there you have it guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget you can download this project file. I'm going to do a bit more uh, mixing. I'll load in the original track and then do a comparison and tweak a couple of things so it's nice and tasty for you. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Oh yeah, no, 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 don't go, don't go. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you never miss a video. Uh, and share it with your friends, smash like if you dig, and I will see you next time. Cheers and happy producing. That is a groover. groover, groover.